Hello viewers, and today you will learn how to create an image something like this. So, it's like a night sky. It has dark background with lights, stars, and a crescent moon over here. So, let's get started. Open up GIMP. Mine is already open. Right over here. And make a new image. So, File, New. And you, if you want, this could also be a background image in which case you would make it a bit bigger but I'm just going to use the default settings because it doesn't really matter to me so first off we take our gradient tool up here gradient make sure your gradient is set to foreground to background RGB and on a radial shape so not linear radial and your foreground color has to be a very deep blue color so almost black but still noticeably blue and your background color should be black and click OK so you're going to um, where you want your bright spot to be mine will be over here this is where I'm gonna put my moon you click there and make a fairly small selection line like that and okay that was too small I'm doing that and something like this and you get a bright spot over there now you can put it wherever you want I think I'm gonna move mine over here more so that's my uh, my bright spot that's where I'm gonna put the moon so now on your layers dialog over here layers um, which you can also open by going to windows dockable dialogs layers on your layers dialog you go down to this page image icon and it uh, creates a new layer so it's gonna make sure it's set on transparency create a new layer over here now um, using your ellipse select tool it looks like this oval type object you're going to select a circle hold if you select like this then hold shift then it will create a perfect circle is what we want. So create a perfect circle about the size you want your crescent moon to be. Um, and what you're going to do is um, change your foreground color to a very pale yellow. So a uh, yellow color but very pale, almost white. Uh, like that around, roughly this color. And your background color you need to change to pure white like so and you're going to um you're going to um using your blend tool oopsies okay you're going to i'm going to redo that because something happened hold shift and keep the size of your moon make sure it's set on uh on the replace the current selection because mine right there was set on subtract so it didn't work Hold shift. Okay. That should be fine. Um, so you take your gradient. Make sure it's once so again set on radial. Oh, and, um, sorry, white should be the foreground color and your pale yellow should be the background color. And stroke from, from one of the top corners. And you get a very, um, it looks almost like an egg because it's very light yellow with the white bright spot and what you're going to do is keeping this selected you're going to go to your ellipse select tool and set the mode on subtract from the current selection so that's the red square and the white square you're going to take that and you're going to make another circle selection roughly like that move this side almost exactly on that uh, on the edge of the circle but a bit farther out and your background wherever your back part of the selection wherever you want it and the bottom just about like that so you sh can see the selected part is in the shape of a moon and what you're going to do is you're going to go select invert edit so what that did is it gave you your crescent moon selection. 
So right now you're going to go select, invert again. So now only your moon is selected. You're going to go select, grow, and grow by three pixels. Click OK. Now on your layers dialog, which we opened up before, you're going to click the page option again and create another transparency layer. But this time move it below so that it's in the middle of the black, well the dark color layer and your moon. Now take the bucket fill tool, make sure that your foreground color is black, and click inside of the selection. What this does it is give the moon a nice border. Click select, none, and you can see that more clearly. Although, yeah, it's not too clear, but it, it gives it a more defined look. Um, so make sure that this layer is selected, and go filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it by 13, well, around 13 pixels. You can change it if you find a better setting, but this has worked for me. Press OK, and it blurs the, the border a little bit. So now you're going to merge down the top layer so that we have with right by right clicking on the layer and clicking merge down. So now the moon and the border is all one layer. Now go now make a new layer again in the middle of them, transparent in the middle of these two by clicking and dragging to the middle. Take your uh gradient tool, your blend tool on the tool options set it to f set the gradient to foreground to transparent and set your foreground color as white so um so now if you click and drag you'll get a white dot i'll undo that so what uh what you want to do is um make a whole bunch of small white dots and they look like stars so you go like that like that if you want you can even make little constellations like this. It's the Big Dipper, see? Yeah, I know, it's pretty bad. Anyway, you put stars <laughs> all over, and then you are pretty much done. Don't make them too big, or else they don't look like stars anymore. They just look like giant dots in the sky. So, um, to undo, you hold Control Z and that deletes what you did before and so you make a whole bunch of little stars and then you're pretty much done then optionally you can go image flatten image and it makes it one big layer although it's sort of unnecessary and you're pretty much done subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching